हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर एट ऑन रिकरेंस रिलेशंस अप टू लेक्चर नंबर सेवन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड लीनियर होमोजीनियस रिकरेंस रिलेशंस विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशेंट्स नाउ फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नॉन होमोजीनियस लीनियर रिकरेंस रिलेशंस विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशेंट्स सो अवर रिकरेंस रिलेशन इज नॉन होमोजीनियस इफ देर इज एटलीस्ट वन टर्म in the recurrence relation which is not multiple of any term of this sequence for example here i have written uh, this example that an equal to 3 times an minus 1 plus 2 times n we can see that this term does not contain any term of the sequence an therefore this recurrence relation is non homogeneous recurrence relation is homogeneous if every term of the sequence is a multiple of aj where aj is the term of the sequence an similarly here also we can see these two terms are multiples of ajs but this term is independent of multiple of aj therefore this is also non homogeneous same thing here due to this term this recurrence relation is non homogeneous so whenever we have non homogeneous recurrence relation uh, we can see uh, we will have function of n that we will denote by capital f of n or we can have constant also we may have this type of recurrence relation also say an minus 3 plus 2 so this is also non homogeneous due to this term which is not multiple of aj so here f of n is constant so in general whenever uh, we have at least one term in the recurrence relation which is not multiple of aj or term of the sequence an then recurrence relation is called non homogeneous recurrence relation and this is the standard form of linear non homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients here we are adding function of n which is not identically zero if f of n is zero for every n then our relation becomes homogeneous and if f of n is not identically zero this means there is at least one n for which value of function is non zero then this is non homogeneous recurrence relation now Uh, the uh, non homogeneous recurrence relations are not easy to solve as we have uh, done for homogeneous recurrence relations here we have to do some more work and uh, if uh, we consider f of n equal to 0 in this non homogeneous recurrence relation then we will obtain the homogeneous recurrence relation and this homogeneous recurrence relation is associated with this non homogeneous recurrence relation because it can be obtained by taking this function of n equal to 0 therefore uh, this homogeneous recurrence relation is called the associated homogeneous recurrence relation homogeneous recurrence relation corresponding to given non homogeneous recurrence relation is called associated homogeneous recurrence relation and here i have written some more examples of linear non homogeneous recurrence relations with constant coefficients an equal to an minus 1 plus 2 raised to n so this is our f of n in this case here all these terms are multiple of aj but this term is not multiple of aj so that is our f of n and this term makes this recurrence relation non homogeneous same thing here this term makes this recurrence relation non homogeneous and here f of n is n factorial so how to solve linear non homogeneous recurrence relations with constant coefficients so that is our aim now the theory of solving this recurrence relations goes parallel to the theory of solving linear differential equations with constant coefficients we know that if right hand side is non zero then this differential equation is called non homogeneous differential equation 
and if you recall from your mathematics 2 course that to solve this non homogeneous differential equation what we are doing we are first solving the corresponding homogeneous differential equation and uh, the solution of this differential equation is denoted by uh, y suffix h and uh, this y h is nothing but the solution of the associated homogeneous differential equation after finding y h we obtain particular solution of given non homogeneous differential equation that we denote by yp and uh, after obtaining this particular solution we add this yh and yp to uh, write down the general solution of given differential equation so here also in the case of non homogeneous recurrence relations we have the same analogous theory first uh, we uh, suppose we are having this non homogeneous recurrence relation and we want to find out its uh, solution or say general solution then here also first we will take f of n equal to 0 and we will solve the corresponding homogeneous recurrence relation or associated homogeneous recurrence relation and uh, the solution of that associated homogeneous recurrence relation will be denoted by this notation a n and here i have written in the bracket h h stands for homogeneous recurrence relation so first step is take f of n equal to 0 and write down the associated homogeneous recurrence relation and find its general solution uh, we have discussed how to solve this type of homogeneous linear recurrence relations in earlier lectures so using that method uh, we will obtain the general solution of associated homogeneous recurrence relation and that general solution will be denoted by this notation a n h then we will find out the particular solution of this recurrence relation which is non homogeneous so that particular solution will be denoted by a n p now how, how to obtain this particular solution that we will discuss in upcoming lectures but whenever we have non homogeneous recurrence relation then we must obtain particular solution satisfying the given non homogeneous recurrence relation and uh, after obtaining particular solution the general solution of given recurrence relation is sum of this a n h and this particular solution a n h is the solution of associated homogeneous recurrence relation a n p is the particular solution of given non homogeneous recurrence relation so in next lecture we are going to discuss that how to find the particular solution for given non homogeneous recurrence relation and uh, for the a n h that is for the solution of homogeneous recurrence relation you can watch earlier lectures on linear homogeneous recurrence relations that is lecture number 1 to 7 and in upcoming lecture we will see how to obtain particular solution of given non homogeneous recurrence relation and then how to solve the non homogeneous recurrence relation so this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching